These are the signs of the time. Only in practice now, a rehearsal, a training exercise. But tomorrow this siren may mean the real thing. And if you hear it, as you drive in your auto, as you sit in your office, or work at your bench, wherever you are, what will you do? What will happen to you? Let's face it, your life, the fate of your community, and the fate of your nation depends on what you do when enemy bombers head for our cities. Every preparation is being made to deal with emergency conditions which would be created by enemy attack. And national survival requires that each one of us assume his share of the responsibility. There is work to be done, and each must cooperate. They're told to crouch low, shield their eyes, and remain down until the signal to rise is given. This training is invaluable in preparation for any attack. It was the awesome power of atomic energy as demonstrated in wartime use that brought to sharp focus the new problems concerning human survival and the urgent need for a civil defense program based on facts about the atomic bomb. Weapons development to strengthen national security. But also included are scientific experiments for the Atomic Energy Commission, military projects for the Air Force, Army, and Navy. The tremendous effects of heat and blast on modern structures raise important questions concerning their durability and safety. These questions are of great interest not only to citizens in metropolitan centers, but also to those in rural areas who may be in a danger zone because of radioactive fallout from today's larger weapons. Now the moment of greatest anxiety, waiting those last few seconds. As the tower of smoke and flame looms overhead, one thought is uppermost in all minds. Now it's over. The fury of it had stunned some, but not one was injured. High above, the smoke ring puffed by atomic breath rises skyward, watched by the men who had faced. Now in a helicopter, the radiological safety men measure the amount of radiation. When readings indicate safety for human beings, the troops are led in for a tour of the area. Gathered wreckage of a dwelling offers an eloquent testimonial. In the thermonuclear age, military defense must be flexible. It must develop and grow, even as the forces that threaten our existence. And so until men of goodwill have turned this awesome power to peaceful uses, let us recognize the threat to our way of life, the threat to our survival. And let's face it.